Hi there, it's David Duford at BuyLifeInsuranceForBurial.com where we help answer your questions about qualifying for life insurance. And in fact, that is the topic of today's video is what happens about getting life insurance coverage if you are uninsurable. So what I'm going to attempt to do in this video is unpackage this concept or this claim of being uninsurable and hopefully with the goal of providing you other options you may be unaware of to actually qualify for life insurance coverage and then send you down a couple other routes to get coverage in other circumstances where maybe you didn't think of that would still be readily available to you even if you're quote unquote un uninsurable. So the first thing I would suggest is that if you are still of working age, you need to take advantage of any kind of group life insurance options that you have. Some of the easiest way to, ways to qualify for life insurance are through group life insurance programs. This means you have to be working, you have to have a full-time job, typically open enrollment to do this is at the end of the year or right upon the time that you join the organization. Get as much life insurance coverage as you can up to the point where they have to start seeing medical records. The usually most companies have a, a guaranteed insurability amount that you want to take advantage of to its maximal extent. The good news is that that coverage, generally speaking, uh, is uh, cheap. It's, it's affordable, uh, is, is affordable. And then if you retire, in some circumstances, you can port it, you can take it with you. You may pay a little higher premium, but it's definitely better than dropping it and trying to requalify and finding your uninsurable condition prevents you. Now, with that said, let's talk about the nature of uninsurable. A lot of people uh, uh, draw false conclusions too quickly. They assume that because they have some ailment that they're uninsurable, Where, whereas the problem is, is they're dealing with companies that have little flexibility with people outside the realm of, of healthy. I'll give you the perfect example. There's a very well-known, very uh, uh, highly thought of life insurance company based out of New York that uh, went to uh, an agent that works with me. Uh, they applied with for life insurance coverage. They were in their 60s, maybe 70s. The only condition they had otherwise being healthy is that they had type 2 diabetes. It was treated with metformin. There was no insulin. There was no incidences of smoking or heart attack or cardiac history that sometimes understandably causes people to be uh, declined or rated up tremendously. In this case, it was just simple diabetes like a lot of people have. Well, they were flat out declined by this New York life insurance company. And the problem with that is that they immediately thought nobody wants us because why wouldn't the best want us? At least that was their thought. Well, the truth is, is that the life insurance business has become tremendously more competitive uh, really over the past 10 to 20 years. There is more and more people. There's more and more people looking for life insurance. There's more and more companies that are entering into the business. And what many of them do is in our model of economics is that when you have a lot of competition of going after one particular group of people, everybody tries to lower their prices to win that business. And so what's happened is prices have gotten much more competitive. And alongside that, the ability to qualify has become looser. It's become easier in some circumstances. I've gotten people covered that have had history. In fact, I just wrapped up a case. A guy had a heart attack five years ago with a stent. And he even has nitroglycerin that he's prescribed. He doesn't take it, but he's prescribed it. And he was approved for a term life insurance product that did a full exam and full look back at his history, which was great. He thought he couldn't qualify for anything. So there is the potential to qualify people with all sorts of health issues that think they're uninsurable. The key comes down to finding a person, a representative that understands this process and can go to bat for you to see what your options may be. And of course, what we do here at buylifeinsuranceforburial.com is exactly that. My job and my representative jobs is to talk to you about what your goals are, what your health is like, and then present to you some options for coverage that gives us the best chance of getting you insured. We can't insure everybody, but we can insure a heck of a lot more people than, than people are really aware of because we operate in the position of shopping for you as a broker. We're not captive, meaning we don't represent one company. We represent pretty much all of them, and we can go out there to see which ones are going to give you the best overall. Let's say this is something that interests you and you'd like to talk to us more about what you may qualify for. It's very simple on proceeding to the next step. Go to buylifeinsuranceforburial.com. Send us a message if you'd like to communicate via email, and you'll see the screen on the side where you can send a message or at the bottom. Do so. We'll follow up with you. Otherwise, pick up the phone right now. Call us if you've reached voicemail. Leave a detailed voicemail, or you'll get us live. 888-626-0439 is the number. 
and we'll give you an idea of what this would run and what you may qualify for in 10 minutes or less. My name is David Duford at BuyLifeInsuranceForBurial.com, and you can reach us at 888-626-0439. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks.